welcome back to Healing All Taurus. This is your 2024 reading, and we're going to be looking at all areas of life. I hope you're doing well. The first thing we look at is how others see you and how you see yourself. So how others see you as somebody that is really focused. You're actually ready and willing to go out there. And just feel positive about yourself and all that is going around on around you. So you are somebody that's able to move forward and pursue something, whatever it is that you're interested in, with your full self. And that's how others see you. Somebody that's dedicated, somebody that is a positive person, somebody that never lets yourself get down. And how you see yourself is... Somebody that maybe is not as positive as others see you. Here it shows and indicates that you're probably thinking that something is draining you. You're being drained, it says here. And you're not, you're not as happy as you appear on the outside, which is very funny. That what others see of you on the outside is not what you actually feel. So this is something that you can look at and be able to work on coming up. As far as your actual income and what you're doing, how you're doing financially, your job, those types of things, it says that you are giving joyfully or you should be giving joyfully to the people that need and the people who support and inspire you. And this will be returned many fold, maybe not even in a physical matter, manner, but maybe in a spiritual manner. So the resources you donate will help you and make sure your positive, positivity and positive energy is able to grow and multiply. Now, this could show that um, you maybe are giving a lot because here people see you as a martyr, giving a lot, but you feel it's draining you. This would indicate to me here that if you're not doing it joyfully, Taurus at this time, it's time to kind of take a break and back off until you will be able to give joyfully so that the energy will remain positive and the ener energy exchange will benefit everybody that is involved. Okay. The next thing we see is that um, your communication with those that are within your, I would say, locality or near to you within your life on a day-to-day -day basis for 2024 shows very loving not very loving but not only that very loving and in charge somebody that is abundant somebody that is not only abundant but somebody that is always pleasant and always positive positive. and what is funny is that again we can see here the outside the communication and the appearance is very positive but inside you have some things that you are going to need to look at and kind of break down and truly see what is going on why what is going on why inside is not matching what is on the outside as far as how people see you versus how you feel but we can see that there is some work to be done here for us and then for your home in your home life you might have some feelings of guilt right and those feelings of guilt are probably maybe what's causing some of these issues here so within your home life and especially having to do with your family how you feel about yourself and maybe the women in your life or if you're a woman yourself and even then there's some guilt there and that is what the first place you can start to try to work on these things that are within. Okay, Taurus, we can also see that if you're somebody that is creative or you're an entrepreneur, or this could have to do with your relationship, if it's especially if it's not a long-term relationship or your relationship even with your children, we can see here unfinished business 
there may be something that you started with someone that you need to finish, whether it is a child, whether it is somebody that you have a romantic relationship with or you started a ro romantic relationship with, or maybe it's business, you started a um, business transaction or business deal, it needs to be finished. And it says that you need to identify that one piece of unfinished business. It's either a task or a person. And then you need to do it and bring it to closure. And it could be a block for you, right? And if you understand what it is, you need to get it done because it's going to make things much better. That could maybe even have to do with the guilt that there is experienced there. And we can see as far as your health for 2024. We should be active. We should be focused and strong. And then we will be able to transform our dreams into reality. So this tells me that if you're somebody that is concerned about your health, even if you're not concerned about your health, it's time to become active. That's basically it. I know that's something I keep saying over and over again, but I need to become more active in my life as far as physical activity, exercise, those types of things. And this is what this indicates for you also for Taurus for 2024. For your relationships, one-to-one -one relationships, whether in business or within your personal relationships, we can see that 2024 is going to bring appreciation and gratitude, right? And it says that they're different. When you feel gratitude, you're saying that, gosh, there was something that was difficult and now I've managed to overcome it. And you're just grateful for that. It, it indicates that there's some struggle that had gone on that you finally overcome. But appreciation, you are looking at things and thinking, oh God, just, this is wonderful. This is great. You're happy with everything that you see and that you know. So you need to be careful that you're not staying in a state of struggle by the way that you feel about things or the way that you view things versus a state of appreciation by for taking them for what they are and being grateful and expressing gratitude for them. So within your relationship, yes, everything or your business partnership, everything might not be equal. It might not be perfect, but there are things that you can be grateful about, right? As far as appreciating them, knowing that they're there all the time, instead of saying, oh, well, you know, it could have been this or could have been that, but, you know, this is what I have here. So... You don't look at things as difficulties to overcome, but look at the things that you already have that are a basis for positivity and show appreciation for those things and everything will improve. Okay. The next that we have is your actual intimacy within any relationship or things that you do together that are let's say between the two of you only like shared finances maybe some loans maybe some investments those types of things right resources that you deal with but are only between the two of you or things that you've used resources for or put resources into like taxes loans investments those types of things for 2024 so we can see here that if you take a trip, the short trip that you take could help you establish connections which will benefit you in these areas. When you do so, you are going to need to present yourself in a positive light. So this would indicate to me if you're somebody that is looking to start, uh, to perf I would say change the way you deal with your finances or you're looking for a property you're looking to buy a property you're looking to um let's say invest in something you're going on a trip for your job or even your personal but it has something to do with 
with finance. It has something to do with the ability to increase or improve this connection. And because it's in this this house or in this this way place of your life, it also will affect the person that you're most you're closest to. So the person you're sharing your resources with. So it could be that you're going to meet with somebody that they know. Let's say you're going to maybe even just learn about it through them. So I would say that, again, put the best foot forward and that is what's going to benefit you there. We then have our look at things that are more spiritual or have to do with things outside of yourself divinity or people that are unlike you or far away places it says here to be flexible because flexibility is something that um when you open your heart and mind to new ideas and fresh opinions then the doors are opened for things that you thought would never change or would never move the doors are open solutions will come to you and these things will flow freely you need to just Make sure that you understand that you do have assistance to help you through these changes and you have the necessary resources. But all you need to do is just be flexible and these things will come to you. You can use the affirmation, I am free and flexible and that will benefit you. Now for your career, or your long-term goals, things like your public image, reputation your ambitions we see here there is a significant issue right but it's about to bring about change and success but don't let memories of the past like we were seeing here some guilt back here don't let those things block you or interfere with your decisions you're supported now by the universe and you need to just go forward without fear. You need to be flexible as it was said here. You need to appreciate. And also this indicates to me when I look at these together that if there's something coming up that you could be taking a trip to somewhere else with your partner, without your partner, um, that could end up being something that because maybe you didn't want to go, but you decided to go ahead and let's see, take, you know, go with the flow, that this could bring some success for you, right? This could bring something that is good in your life and maybe some solutions for you. We then have the actual future and there are things that may be coming into your life that you are not aware of, right? That are in your future. But that could either be something to watch out for or something that, well, watch out for in a way that you may need to do something about it to correct it or something that is going to benefit you. So let's see what that could be. Okay, a change for the better is coming. So you've had a couple of messages here about improvement and how to just be open and flexible. An improvement is coming for you, Taurus, in 2024. And as far as our healing, things that we need to heal or feel better about, we can see that here, the attachment is something that you need to work on. It says that we need to trust that a perfect relationship will always arrive on time and feel worthy and deserving of love at all. So you release all attachments to things from the past, uh, things that may make you feel guilty, and you'll have a wonderful 2024, Taurus. So take care.